All right, you guys, we are at Starbucks. Those are the new menu items that I saw on True Boom. So we're gonna try the guava, the pineapple matcha, and the s'mores frappuccino. I also heard they have a unicorn cake pop, so we're gonna try that as well. So these, these are my outings these days, is going to get food. I'm actually going to Starbucks and then I'm going across town. Actually, like this is across town for me. So this is kind of near where I used to live. This is like Hollywood, West Hollywood area. And then I'm going across town again to Beverly Hills. And then I live in the Valley, so it's like a triangle. So I'm literally driving like hours to get food today because that's all I have to do with my life. So I did a quick makeup routine, makeup and hair routine. This all took me under seven minutes. And if you saw what I looked like before, you'll be like, wow, that's a really big feat. So yeah, if you haven't checked out my vlog channel, I do get readies with me over there pretty much every morning because that's all I have to do too. I have my little pig backpack with me today. Um, and yeah, I'm very excited. I really like this life of routine. I've said this multiple times, but I like having just a very simple routine because there's nothing more I can be doing. Like I want to be doing music and music videos and traveling and stuff. And that always kind of stressed me out. I'm re now realizing I like it and I'll continue to do it because it gets me excited and it gets me pumped and it gets me hyped. But as far as being level right now, kind of like I get up, I shower, I do my makeup, I go to work and do my OnlyFans, then I eat something, which is also kind of like work or whatever. And then I take another little break and have a snack or something. And then I edit and then I go to bed. Like that's my routine. And I kind of like it. Like I'll watch like Netflix at night. That show Hollywood is really good. Um, so good. And yeah, it's kind of a cool routine. I really like it. I feel really content and satisfied. And yeah, and then on the weekends I see my family. So it's good. I mean, I do always wanna be doing more. Like I wish I could be traveling. I wish I could be doing my music. And I'm like looking forward to the day that I can do that again. But I think once I get back to like normal and things do start like opening up full, I think I want more balance where I do have maybe two days a month. Like no, one, like four days a month, so like one day a week. Where I'm doing something crazy but at that same time doing something crazy and I say that like a music video or like a trip requires like planning and you know getting your hair done your nails done getting outfits getting clothing doing fittings getting things signed getting cash out you know like all that stuff obviously like takes a lot of time too so maybe maybe you need to dedicate like one week a month to crazy fun stuff and then the rest be routine be like this is your routine trash this is what you got to do to work in order to fund the music videos the passion projects the traveling so I think I'm gonna come, I'm gonna go a little more balance um, once I get back to real life, whatever that is. Um, ew, the person's literally smoking out of their car. And then after this, we're gonna try and go to this place called The Best Damn Burrito. Um, I saw Cole Kerrigan, he did an uh, Instagram story or a post about it, I think. I was like, that looks so good. I hope they're still open. Cause it's legit 11.30 right now. Um, let's see if they're still open. Yeah, I mean, I think they're still open, so. But the breakfast burritos look really good. He really did say it's the best one, and obviously the name Best Damn Burrito is, or breakfast burrito, I think is what it's called. Sounds like, I mean, that sounds like a legit guarantee, so very excited I kind of half-assed my extensions I'm not gonna lie the back of my head probably looks so crazy I have like one track back there and it's like really low on my the nape of my neck but yeah. this Fiat in front of me like literally is on her phone all the time she never knows when to pull up how's it going hi good um can I get a medium guava passion fruit drink okay um can I also get a medium of the pineapple matcha drink And a medium s'mores frappuccino. A pineapple, okay. I'm sorry, you said a grande pineapple matcha. Yeah, and then a medium s'mores frappuccino. What kind, what kind of frappuccino? S'mores. You got it, do you want whip on there? Um, yes please. Okay. And can I also get a medium cup of ice water? Sure. And do you guys have a unicorn cake pop? So which one, the unicorn? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'll have one of those too. Just one? Yeah. Okay, did you want to look it on the screen? Do you mind just double checking for me? Matcha. Oh, and also, can I also get a medium guava passion fruit? Okay. 
It, do you want guava in the passion fruit tea? No, the new guava passion fruit drink. Oh. <laughs> what? Okay, got you. I'm just looking at your new menu stuff, and that's what I'm ordering, basically. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got you. Okay. okay. All right, cool. So, does it look good now? S'mores frap, guava. Oh, and also, but also a pineapple matcha drink, too. <laughs> so, like, all the new drinks, like a medium. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Finally. Okay. Thanks. So you four drinks in total, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got it. Seventeen sixty. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. So Some people say I do mumble through a drive-through, and I'm I'm gonna just put blame on me on this one because I just drive-through people hate me. I must. I think I. I'm just gonna stop talking. Okay. I got the mask on because someone's like, "You should wear a mask at the drive-through." And I always have a mask in my car. I actually have two masks in my car. So I'm going to listen. You're probably right. I didn't even think about that. Keep thinking. My head's in the clouds, I guess, lately. Let's see if they got this order right. <laughs> Not that I need all these drinks. I'm really sorry for being obnoxious. What else is new? Oh, the lady in front of me got a big order, too. And I was like, where is she going with all these drinks? With an also me. <laughs> also me with all these drinks that I don't need. Also putting self tanner on my hand paid off yesterday. Totally paid off yesterday. Cause I didn't wash my hands. Like, well I did wash my hands, but then after I washed my hands, I put the lotion on the back. And then I didn't want to put makeup on the back. Okay, let's see this close. Good, how are you? Uh, pretty good. <laughs> Trying to get through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you need straws for all your drinks? Um, yeah, if you have them. Thank you. You got it. People always tell me not to look into, but I don't know where else to look. I think it's so obvious that I'm not trying not to look. Ooh, these drinks look good. I'm excited. You guys know what I ordered? I don't even know what I ordered. <laughs> I don't really get how s'mores is a summertime drink. I keep looking in. Oh my god, I'm so annoying. I'm literally so annoying. I'm gonna put my pig backpack on the floor. What's more important, the drinks or the pig backpack? Mm. So much. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Mm. And I got whipped cream. Mm. <laughs> I'm just eating it still. Still good. Okay, I'm really excited to try these. Oh my god, there's such a line. You think they put more Starbucks drive throughs now that we're in this? We're in this, <laughs> you know, like in this face mask. Don't leave your car, which I can't, I'm not mad at. I like some of the things of isolation, but okay, let me pull over so I can try some of these and, um, you know, more importantly, get a good thumbnail. Mm. restart my car because it's hot these are our drinks the summer drinks from Starbucks I really want to try that s'mores frap but I feel like that's more of a dessert drink but yeah. let's see what let's try the green one first this is the one I think I like the least this is a pineapple matcha 
Mm. Okay, I'm not really sure what matcha is. I just know I don't love it, but the pineapple is very refreshing. All right, let's try this pink drink. This is the guava passion fruit drink. Which I like their passion fruit normally, so. Mm. Mm. That one's it for sure. I wanna get outside and take a picture with these for Instagram too, so that's what I'm kind of going. And I got the ice water just to be refreshed. Okay, this one is going to be so delicious because I love s'mores, I love frappuccinos. Oh my God, this is so naughty. Mm. Okay, this one's it. This one's it. Hands down, we got a winner. Okay, so we are on our way to get the breakfast burrito. We are in our route. In route. Um, yeah, I definitely think the s'mores is the best, but of course I do because I just love sweet things because I'm a fat ass. Mm. I hope I don't offend anyone or trigger anyone when I say fat because, like, that word's an ugly word. I actually really hate the word when people use it as an insult. I take it more as, like, that is, like, the thing, like, oh, my God, she got so big. Oh, my God, she's so fat. Like, you're so fat. Lose some weight. Like, I hear it so much that, for me, it's, like, if I say it, it kind of takes away the sting, I guess. Um, so, I'm hoping not to trigger any of you guys because I know it's a nasty word. I've always said that, like, I don't get people being mean in general. Like, I just, I don't. But, I'm going to have some of this pink one. It's actually really good. But, like, I think there's some low blows. I think, like, going for someone's weight is low. Like, especially when they are overweight. Like, someone like me. I'm, I'm not skinny. and I'm, I'm chubby. You know, I am overweight. Like, so, it's just such an easy one. And I guess that's why people do it. And I guess because I talk about it so much and people know that that's, like, such a thing I think about. And I issue in this, in this is insecure thing for me. Like, people obviously are going to just keep doing it. Um, so, I guess that's why I say that. But, also, you know what? I kind of own it, too. It's, like... Even the other day, I was like, you know what, I'm going to start a fast. And I was like, you know what, I'm hungry, though. I want to go get some food. Like, yes, there's a balance for sure. And, yes, like, once gyms start opening up, like, I'm so excited to go work out again. Like, I really am. Um, I, I've been feeling that way for some time. But because of my knee injury last year, I'm not using that as an excuse. But it really does. Like, even um, last Sunday, this morning is the one, by the way. But this is a close second. But this is more refreshing. It doesn't make you feel so bad. But even last um Last Sunday, I was like chasing my dog and I turned the wrong way and I freaking collapsed and it hurt so bad. Like, I was screaming, like, bloody murder. My mom and sister were there and I was like, I felt so bad because, like, when I'm in pain, I'm like, I can be a bitch. I'm like, just leave. I just want to go to sleep. Like, I was just more embarrassed. And you know, when people ask, Are you okay? You just, I don't know. For me, I start getting more anxious. I get like a lot of anxiety about that. I don't know why. <laughs> like, people are crowding around me when something, like, when I've injured myself. Like, I remember another time that happened back in high school. And I just, like, freak out because I start getting, like, anxiety. I don't know why. Like, thinking that they're going to take me to a hospital or something. <laughs> I don't know. Because uh, ambulances are hella expensive. Which reminds me, I got to get, I have to get new health insurance today, too. But, anyways. I'm trying to give these all a fair shake. But, yeah, the s'mores definitely wins. What is matcha? Is matcha good for you? Because if it's like good for you, I could, I could like, okay, I can drink this, but I don't think it's. I feel like it's not because I know they have like matcha ice cream. Okay, I'm gonna have like one more sip of this, and then I'm gonna wait for my. Oh, there's also egg slot over here. No, we're coming. This is so good. This tastes like a freaking s'mores. What's in here? Like, how does it taste like a burnt marshmallow and chocolate? And a graham cracker all in one. That's so weird how how flavors like flavored lip glosses. I was always like, or even chapstick. I'm like, how did they get that? Like, I remember there was a lip smacker, Dr. Pepper. That smelled like freaking Dr. Pepper. Crazy. 
amazing. Okay, so shout out to Best Sam Breakfast Burrito. They um, went to go get, I got white paw with it, and then they hooked me up with some like chips and salsa and all that stuff too, stuff I didn't order. So shout out Best Sam Breakfast Burrito. <laughs> They're still going strong. So I got a burrito, but it has tater tots in there, and then I got a side of tater tots. But it came out of the size that I got. It. Well, I don't want to get too full of that. Turn this on, it's hot. I'm just gonna take a couple bites. Because I'm in a customer loading zone here you know, for five minutes, so I'm only gonna try. Max and breakfast burrito. Looks like this. Um you know what I forgot to do is sanitize. No. So, my pretty bitch sanitizer. A gift from Shane. I was just thinking, like, I mean, I thought about this when it happened, but I was just thinking recently, like, how cool was it for Shane to name a freaking eyeshadow after me and him and Jeffrey in the pot in the conspiracy pot? That's very really cool. Like, he named a gloss after Rylan and he named a shadow after me. Like, that's, I felt, that's, I hate. We had such a good conversation this week, and I was just like, you know, I fucking, like, I, like just we were talking about like we had like one fight in our entire life like like back in 2014 and we were talking about it and I was just like oh my god and ever since then we both knew like hey we're both doing things like anyways it was, it's like kind of personal so I'm not gonna go into it but it's just like we both realized like we were doing the things we do that like pushes people away and we're just like no we're not doing this anymore and then to, like how much we'd be like in each other's eyes forever and how we get each other and I don't know I just really love them and then I was thinking like oh my god and then like to name a shadow like I don't know that was like really I don't know I just kind of got all sentimental about it today but anyways thank you for watching I love you um <gasps> yeah okay so this is I got egg bacon and it tots we'll see how this tastes mmm this is really good Mmm, it's so good. I took another bite from my Instagram story because this place is really good. Um, shout out Best Damn Burrito. Shout out Cool Care Game. The egg is like slightly runny. Mmm. I didn't show that in my story. I should show it. There's something so beautiful about a breakfast sandwich. I'm telling you. Mmm. With my Porsche. Okay. Woo. <laughs> so good. I'm going to type in what it is. <laughs> Tater tots and eggies and bacon. <sighs> Put it down there. So good. Worth the trip for sure. Yeah. This is like, I mean, I'm kind of picky with my breakfast sandwiches. Oh my god, this. Freaking how amazing is that? The focusing. Wow. Mmm. The egg is like kind of runny too. Oh my god, it's so good. And I had a lot of substitutions on this, so I'm like really surprised they got it right. Mm. My mom and sister would love this place. It's kind of far from where I live, but. Mm. I did not think I was gonna like, enjoy it this much, honestly. Mm. Wow, so good. Mm. I guess I just love things wrapped up in like a burrito. There's a Starbucks right down from here too. 
I'm not out of my way to go to a Starbucks. And there's one like right next to her. Mm. I thought I was filming a video of Chanel texting me and there she's calling me. bought a handbag from them because I really wanted this like handbag and uh, I did it yesterday and they're like how are you enjoying your purchases I'm like I just bought it yesterday I haven't come in yet mm. this is such a satisfying meal I touched it with my hand. Mm. This guy in front of me, he just looks like a jerk. He's like, well, I'm, I'm avoiding contact with him. You can just tell he's like middle aged, like fit, but you can just tell he's like annoyed by me sitting here eating. He's been going in and out of his car. He's been looking at me, like, what are you still doing here? What are you still doing here? Mmm. Nothing happened. Oh, they did. What's cool about this place, too, is they offer a white claw. I offer a white claw. I think they knew. She's like, we love you. She gave me the white claw. She goes, and we added some extra. So I think they gave me, like, the chips and all that stuff extra. And I was, like, really excited. So I tagged him. I take anything that I actually like. That's so funny. Like now that I do OnlyFans, like I'm a lot more pickier on sponsorships to take. Because at the end of the day, and this sounds like I don't know, whatever. Arrogant or whatever. Maybe I'll go back around to doing cheaper sponsorships. But it's like I don't really made the money because my OnlyFans is doing really well. Like, it's doing better than anything I've ever done. So, it's like, when I like something, I just want to promote it. And so, like, some of these companies that, like, lowball, I'm just like, if I don't love it. Now, having said that, I do love Flat Tummy Tea. Believe me, this is not sponsored by Flat Tummy Tea. Um, they're just insanely, like, cheap. And, like, I hate that they're so cheap. But, like, I'll still talk about them. Like, I'm talking about them now. Like, I will still use Flat Tummy Tea. But I almost would just rather... This guy hates me. I would just rather tell you guys about it, you know? So, there are certain people that have a great relationship. Amity has always been above generous with me and awesome. I love their toys in return. I would purchase them anyways, so it's like a really good... Um, like I said, they're, they're fair. This guy's giving me anxiety about eating. We're getting to the end of the burrito, y'all. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it was so good. Mm-hmm. Okay, one last bite, and then I'm gonna get to my fingers. Mm. Okay, one more bite of lime. Uh, mm -hmm. mm. They must have napkins, I think I forgot. Anyways. This is so good. I'm gonna leave this guy. Mm. Do you guys see FedEx literally just pickled me in here? <laughs> you guys can't see because he's literally in my blind spot. I hope this guy in front of me leaves. What? Well, now I'm really screwed. <laughs> These carrot hops are good. I need to check them. I keep them. That's how legit they are. Oh. Oh my god, those chips are so good. Come on. Give me a bunch of salsas too. Wow. Mmm. So good. I'm gonna find the quickest way to get home. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, these chips. Wow. 
And they gave me a tons of salsas in there too, which I love. <laughs> they gave me so many salsas. <sighs> I'm so I was saying no right here. I'm so happy. I love when I find food I love. There's nothing worse than wasting calories on food you don't love. Um. Mm. I'm doing my s'mores job. Oh, I probably won't eat this yet because I'm like not craving it. But I'm gonna show you guys. That's the unicorn cake pop. I don't know what flavor. Maybe I'll bite into it. But I'm really enjoying these actually. Mmm. This is lime chubby. Because I'm full and I'm satisfied, but I'm just eating because my mm, are so good. You guys, you have to let me know if you eat for fun or you eat because you have to. But to live for nourishment. Because I had a friend. I think you guys might have seen him a couple times either in my vlogs or on Instagram. Sergio, he's still my friend. I've known him literally since I was 18 as well. There's a couple people I've known, like, literally since I've been an adult. Like, which is Sergio and Jeff. And then Shane I met when I was, like, 20. So, there's, like, those three people that have literally known me for most of my adult life. And not that I'm saying Sergio is like a close friend, but he's definitely a friend that I've kept for a, a long time that we catch up throughout the years. Hmm. David Lipper from my podcast, too. I've known him since I was 18, and we've kept in touch. So, can I go this way? For all y'all who say, oh, Trisha can't keep on, hold on to relationships or friendships. You know what? Sometimes you're right, but also, I just know when something's no longer needed in my life. But I do, I'm able to keep them on. And then I have Andrew Valentine, Angel, I have Michael Philpott. I met them all like 2014. So. Mmm. That is so good. Wow. <laughs> My favorite hotel, Waldorf Astoria. Mmm. 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 I love TikTok dances. Maybe I'll stop and get some whipped cream for my body. I have a very whipped cream idea in my head for OnlyFans that I want to do. I'm going to get some. Mm. My belly. Okay. One more tater hot and I'll have these later. I'll put them in the oven or something. Uh. You guys, why is so good? They also have another location, I think, in downtown. Um, and then there's also something called Best Damn Grilled Cheese. So, I'm gonna try that out too. I don't think it's in Beverly Hills, though. I like Beverly Hills. It's nice. Booty. I guess you're TikTok until I get home. Wait, do I do another OnlyFans or do I do it with TikTok? Only if you have sexy money. TikTok sexy money. Wow. Excuse me, Scott. I'm saving all this. My white claw. I'm saving all of it, y'all. It's so good. Cheers. I love, I keep these cups too, so I don't think I'm wasting um, cups because I actually keep them and I drink water out of them at my house. I love the Nook and Donuts ones, but. She cheated on Duncan today and got some Starbucks. And I really want another. Oh, you know what? Mm -mm. I know it'll stop me from having another tree top. I'm gonna take a bite of the unicorn. Just a bite, because honestly, I'm, I really am so, I know I keep saying the word satisfied, but that's the best way I can describe it. I'm so freaking satisfied. You'll never be satisfied. God, I hope you're satisfied. Oh, this is a pretty place. I'm taking my pictures here. They're beautiful. Like you'll see, there's like palm trees going by. Okay, there's the unicorn. We're just gonna see what flavor this is. 
I'm not a huge fan of cake pops because the fondant's a little too thick for me. I don't love. Mmm. Mm. It's vanilla, or like white cake. It's okay, high, but I need my tater tots. Mmm. Time to Instagram girls. Actually, I'm glad I didn't take my picture here because there's a ton of Instagram girls that stand in the middle of the road and people get so annoyed. I kind of did mine to the side and a couple streets over because they're stabilized right here. And this is the palm trees. We're on Beverly. So Beverly and Santa Monica is where this starts. Beverly Hills. 